All right then guys, we are back. I'm sorry for that little issue. I should definitely watch out for saving and not do that again. Funny enough, I figured I'd head over here while I was doing my normal, uh, making sure all of my audio sounds good and doing the editing process of that portion of it. And so I was like, I'll head over here while I have to wait for some of that. And guess what fucking happened? I got that stupid fox card I wanted to show off and I was like, I'm not syncing up the, the audio and stuff in here. So I guess we're gonna have to wait until a little bit later to show that off. Anyway, this is the DJ dude. Uh, this isn't technically going to be considered a new session, in my opinion. We're just going to do minus one on all the sessions from now on. I am up to 14 after today. So I have to say, I, I'm surprising it took this many sessions to get this far. Anyway, blah blah blah, he wants us to help out with this suspicious stuff. We think it's Ephemians. Let's go get Unruly. I'd better write myself a memo in the mail. I am curious what the problem is. I still can't believe I fucking did that. <laughs> I was just trying to be real quick with the B cards, and I heard the saving, and I'm like, ah, ah, ah. I really freaked out there. What? You're going to help me with the school broadcasting? That'd be nice. Actually, lately, there's been a lot of interference. I'd like you to find out where it's coming from. It might have something to do with the waves in this room. Okay, so he's saying it's the waves in this room. How do you like the school sound booth? It's designed to keep other noises out. So what do you think? Nice, huh? Uh, okay. Let's see. I wonder what it could be. A lot of papes. I wonder... Boxes and stuff. I don't know. Oh, you know what? I don't think that guy was there before. I'm pretty sure it's that guy. School's over, you know. Now don't dawdle and get yourself home, all right? I will do what I want, Mitch Hedberg. You might be the cool teacher, but you're not cool enough to make me get over being a bad guy. Oh, what the hell? All right, guys, so I'm in the room and I'm seeing a bunch of stuff all around here. It looks like Z-Waves. Yeah, these are definitely Z-Waves. Ah, Enium Wave Ball. That's gotta be the source of the noise in the broadcast. Let's smash it. All right, so I guess it's just gonna be some G-level monsters now. That's fine, that's fine. I can get by this, no problem. All right, let's see if I can teleport in front of these guys. Cool. Honestly, this isn't that hard. Just hold B. <laughs> okay, got that guy. Ah, damn it. Yeah, swords are kind of hard to use for this against this guy. Actually, this works out a lot better, I think. Damn it. Oh, God. Oh, you know. Yep, we're good. Damn it, I wanted to use Elemental Cyclone. <laughs> Oh yeah, we don't get car- oh, I fucked up. I fucked up, guys. Alright, so I apologize in the editing for this, because you'll notice the screen was off a little bit. I do apologize, I just noticed that. Damn it. I'm not redoing this recording. Game, fuck off, let me do what I want to do. Okay, do that. I think the bottom screen was fine. I think the top screen might have been off a little bit. I do apologize for that, guys. I just moved the screen slightly to the left a little bit by accident. It was probably like two or three pixels. There's at least one more wave ball still out there. We've got to go find it. Anyway, it's up there. I wanted to talk to this guy, though. Puffy. It's Puffy. Mr. Shepard's hair is really... Okay, I thought that was the guy we had to talk to. There's at least one more, Mega. There's one right over there, you lazy fuck. I thought we were supposed to talk to the blue guy. Oh, okay. It's say the the guy I'm reading said it's near the blue navy. There's an EM wave ball. Let's smash it. Something tells me there's probably three. Okay, so we definitely do not want to. Oh, hey, yeah, we finally got this one. Nice. Okay, but well, we definitely don't want to transform into our. Uh... I didn't mean to do that one first. Whatever. No dragon form here. So anyway, as you can see there, when I transformed. Um, into that little fox creature, and the enemy hit me, I based Mega Man jumped up and did a, a wide slash, basically. So that's what it is. It's a counterattack. There's at least one more EM Wave Ball still out there. We've got to... Why can't you just say there's two more, there's three more? Why do you gotta be lazy, Capcom? Get your shit together. I think it's this one? Yep, this one. Cool. Hopefully this is the last one. I do like how they brought this back, though, because it's just kind of curious how they kind of brought it up and then never talked about it ever again. Mm 
Well, I'm happy I took this on now because this is a lot easier in this, uh, at this point in the game. Okay, that's all of them. Let's go let the studio guy know. I find it funny that it shut down the power to Macon, but here it's like, yeah, we're just gonna cause a little issues with the radio waves, that's fine. <laughs> just a little bit of noise, that's all. But, uh, no, no interesting noise forms, okay? Not yet. We got a few games before we get to that. What? You found out where that interference was coming from? Good work. This is for a job well done. And we got a plasma gun too, and... I mean, at this point in the game, when you can get this, we technically can't get them yet, so, you know, it works out. Why don't you join the broadcasting club? <sighs> the RC club? The... the... The broadcasting? Sorry, the RC club... The RC Club, the Broadcasting Club, probably gonna join the Student Council soon because of Luna. Gonna join the Eating F I Like to Eat Food Club with uh, Bud, and then whatever the fuck Zach does. Jill's not gonna have any time for what he wants to do. Okay, so there's technically only one more we can do. I am so glad I'm reading this because uh, the girl next door we technically can't do up to this point, which sucks. We would be able to do it soon, but like I said, this is the job episode, guys. We gotta get our jobs done. I honestly don't know much how much recording I have for this session. I know at this point I have 50 minutes recorded, but I'm doing a lot of cutting here, so I don't know. But anyway, we get to talk to a familiar face coming up. I guess some funny stuff I should talk about is that I was trying to figure out as hard as possible what would be the best way... Oh shit, this is an important thing I talked about. But anyway, I was trying to find out the best way to get the uh, SP level monsters to appear. So, uh, but one of my favorites was that I was just sitting there talking with my bird, Cilantro. Because that's what I do, he's a bird, he likes to mimic speech, so I like I like to talk to him because he likes to listen to it. But anyway, like twice in a row I was talking to Cilantro and I was like, yeah buddy, you know, how's it? And I look over and I realize that Libra had fucking spawned and I was like, oh shit, that's a little different. But uh, anyway, uh, some important thing I wanted to talk about is the fact that while I was, um... While I was getting fighting sickness, I was trying to figure out if maybe cloakers could work similar to repels in like Pokemon games where you know how it's easier to find the the uh, legendary dogs slash the Latios and Latios when using a Repel, because they have higher H, uh, higher level than your current level Pokemon, and then you can use a Master Ball or something. I wanted to know if the Cloaker would do something similar, and I don't know if it worked because it did kind of work, but I don't know if that's what did it. But after, the, after that, a few fights later, as I was fighting, um, I forgot to record that fight, sadly. Uh, I didn't record all of the fights, just most of them. Most of the important ones. But anyway, um, after that I noticed as I was fighting people, as I was using the Cloaker, the Cloaker stayed up after a fight. Now, I did run from the fight, so I want to know, maybe the Cloaker doesn't go away after one fight? Because that's what I heard Speedrunners specifically say. But I'm wondering if it actually goes out after a time limit that also counts the time that you're fighting the viruses the, in the encounter, because that's the only thing I can think of. Anyway, we're going to talk to Mitch Hedberg. Hopefully he's, uh, Hedberg. Mitch Hedberg, no, we're... <laughs> You know, a banana is a lot like a traffic- is like the opposite of a traffic light. You know, green means, whoa, whoa, whoa slow down there. You know, yellow means you're, you're kind of good to go. And uh, red is, uh, where'd the hell you get that banana? <laughs> Mr. Shepard's transfer, come on in. Actually, I have a problem. I made a promise to my kids that I can't keep. Oh, I'm so sorry, my children. Bros, please help me. Mr. Shepard's in trouble. Oh, Mr. Shepard's in a pinch. Should I help him? No. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm just imagining, like, he- <laughs> I'm just so fucking imagining, uh, Omega Sis sitting there like, Okay, it's not my fucking problem. <laughs> I'm not gonna have a unique dialogue choice after every no, Geo, fuck off. Well, let's get to it. I better write myself a memo in the mail. Anyway, this will be the last one we can do in school, and this will actually be the second last one in this school in general. So yeah, we are definitely, uh... Crunching away at these jobs, that's for sure. All right, Mr. Shepard, what's up? Oh, what am I doing? Oh, it's Geo. I have a little problem. Do you know Mauawawa? My kids asked me to get to the, some Mauawawa figures, but I can't because I was asked to work today unexpectedly. What What do you mean unexpectedly? You're a fucking teacher. Would they ask you to come in on a Saturday? The kids are going to be upset. What? You'll go and get them for me? Really? That'd be great. Here's some money. Anyway, 500 zennies. I really appreciate this. No worry, Mr. Shepper. It's what we can do. So anyway, yeah, now we gotta go to Times Square. Um, I don't believe we have to go into the wave world, so I'm just gonna skip to where we need to go. Alright, I think this is the guy we need to talk to. 
How about a Nancy's Limited Mawa Wawa? Figure for only 500 zenny. Bye. Geo got the action figure. Okay, and that's it. We gotta head back now. Oh, you're back already? Geo gave the action figure, figure to Mr. Shepard. Thank you, this is a big help. It's great to have you as my student. Please accept this. Geo got an HP 10. Yeah! <gasps> Our health. Godspeed 69. Godspeed. With this, I'll get to see their smiling faces. That, that's so fucking cute. Ah, thank you, Mr. Shepard. You're the best. It's the entrance to the studio. I want to go in and take a look, but I bet some teacher will get mad if I do. Like, who cares, Geo? Go in there anyway. There could be HP Mems in there. Alright, we've already gotten past 69. We might as well just keep fucking going now. Maybe. We can hit 1,060. <laughs> 1,690. Geo, you definitely have to go in there now. There's no other explanation. But anyway, yeah, now time to head over to a make it. So I will see you guys then. I forgot, I think I talked about this before, but we're actually gonna go talk to, er, we're gonna go look at the transfer of Sonya's ex-manager. I just realized that the axe does 150 damage. I don't know why I thought it did the same exact damage as the, the, the wood hammer thing. That one does 130 damage. I don't know where I got that from. Either way, I, I would still recommend the wood one more, but whatever. Welcome, you're in Chris Gold's trancer. Stay a while. Baby! Money makes the world go round. Ever since Sonya left, I've been low on work and low on money. Can't somebody help me find a new star? Hmm, should I talk to him? Uh, no. Let's just let him be. That guy's bad news. Alright. Can't believe Geo is actually helping this kid out. Hmm, should I talk to him? Okay, but I don't like this guy. He's bad news. Yeah, I don't know why Mega would even consider helping this guy out. Or Mega, Mega Man. Geo. Fucking anybody. Hello, I remember you. You're Sonya's, huh? What am I doing here? Well, um, um, ever since Sonya left, I've been low on work, so I'm pretty much acting as a talent scout right now. Say, you wouldn't happen to know any talented cute young girls. Get him, Chris Hansen. Attack. Strike. Use capture. Who could take Sonya's place now, would ya? I'd love for you to help me out and do some scouting for me. What do you say? So anyway, yeah, now we gotta go look for some cute young thing. Which we have to go to Times Square for, which is why we could not take on the mission beforehand. Anyway, since we're doing this, I should talk about some consumerism. You see, back in the 1900s when consumer- no, I'm kidding, anyway. Uh, no, while I was looking for commercials of Mega Man as well, I found one. Apparently, in Japan, McDonald's had- I, I, they're not trading cards, but they had cards for, you fucking guessed it, Mega Man Star Force 1. And it was just like some stupid- I, I did a little thing that I should show on screen right now. But basically, it was just the basic three versions and then two, like, basic Mega Man cards, but, like... It's the dumbest thing. Do they not have toy stuff shit over in, in McDonald's in Japan? Because, I don't know, it seems, seems a little... It seems like a little lame McDonald's gift. Huh? Why don't I try being a star? Tee hee hee. Do you think I'm pretty enough? You do? Well, I guess I can't hurt to try. Do you think I could put it in a good word with that talented scout for me? And there we go. We have now ruined this young woman for the rest of her life. Good going... Good going, Geo. You know, I, I hope this guy gives you gives you something nice to fucking make up for it. You got 690 <laughs> HP. <laughs> nice. All right, all right. You're good, dude. Dude, do what you want with her. I don't care. Anyway, let's see what he has to say. Oh, did you find anything anyone promising? Wow, you are pretty fast. I'm impressed. This is for you. 7,000 zenny. I picked that shit up off the floor. At my school. You know, you gotta hand over a little bit more dough. You said she's in Times Square? Okay, I'm on my way. So anyway, yeah, there's that. We just ruined a young girl's life. I mean, to be fair, his issues with Sonya was more... Sonya didn't really want to commercialize her work too much. Alright, and we actually only have one more of these things to go. Actually, I'm curious real quick. I swear one of these, uh... Telescopes back here had a, uh... I swear one of the telescopes had a wave hole in it, so um, I know we can go behind it, and it hasn't been useful so far, so I think I'm gonna go do that as well. Because um, I talked to this guy before and didn't get anything. Um, basically, after you're done talking to the guy at the desk, you're supposed to talk to this guy over here. Also, one more thing I keep meaning to fucking bring up. Has that always been yellow? Like, maybe it's just because I looked down. I even made fun of the girl because I'm like, huh, how can you not know which one's which? It's right fucking in front of you, but uh... I'm seeing red for Leo, green for Dragon, and yellow for Pegasus. 
This makes me somewhat think or wonder whether or not there was either another version of the game made, or if there was, if Pegasus wasn't always going to be Pegasus and maybe it was going to be like an electric one. Kind of interesting. I literally only caught that post-recording because I was just kind of sitting back being lazy and I was like, why is that yellow? <laughs> like, I'm kind of seeing it out of the corner of my eye and I'm like, maybe, maybe maybe it's just like a color issue. Maybe if I look at my DS screen, it's like, no, it's, it's that one. What the fuck? I mean, I guess I could have talked to the guy first, but whatever. Anyway, I'm just going to go look at all of these things and see if I can uncover a wave hole in any of them. Oh, the power's off. Turn it on? Yes. Whirl. There's a wave hole here. Nice, nice. Oh, and there's an HP 10 in that one? Shit, man. How did I not discover that before? I mean, I'm kind of happy I didn't, so I had 69 health to fight all the fucking... <laughs> fight all the Ephemians with, but damn. I can't believe I missed that. So anyway, this guy over here is the last person we need to talk to in him. Well, actually, there's technically one other person we can talk to, but he's not here yet, so... That's gonna be a no for- oh wait, no, can we not see his thing from here? Maybe? Ah, oh, damn it, that sucks. Maybe from here? Oh, fuck off, game. Alright. Well, I guess I gotta do some traveling now. Since I'm already here, I can just, uh, pulse out immediately. Also, I should say the Mega Man Star Force McDonald's thing literally wasn't anything interesting. It's just two Asian kids talking about it, being all excited that they got the- the- the fucking- Five, one of the five different cards you can get out of the pack, and that was it. Like, there wasn't, like, anything special. There wasn't, like, oh, here's an animation in place of it. It's just, it was just them talking. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> All right, dude, what do you got? Edgar Knight. Hiya, welcome to my trancer. Lend me your ears, bros. Lately, I've been experiencing love troubles. Oh, what should I do? What an emotional guy. I guess that's what love does to you. Well, do you want to help him? Yeah, we should let him work out his own problem. All right, let's get this over with. I better write myself a memo in the mail. I'm gonna start saying that for random things now. <laughs> I've said it so many times. I better write myself a memo in the mail. <laughs> I'm happy I pulsed out there so I didn't have to walk my ass all the way back. I mean, I guess it wouldn't have been that long of a walk, but still. <sighs> sighing, you ask? Oh, sighing, you ask? Huh. Well, I am sighing, you ask. Well, to tell you the truth, I've fallen in love. That's the girl over there at the info desk. Again? Oh my god. <laughs> She's not going to know which one to pick, because they look exactly the fucking same. What? What's that you say? The gift counter guy has eyes on her too? Well, I can't just sit back and do nothing. Well, I have to make my move first. I remember her saying that she wanted a Recovery 30 card. I know, I'll give her one as a present. But how will I get one of those? Dang. Recovery 30, really? Oh, I, I could spare one, you know? Ugh. Ugh. You know, it'd be, a, it'd be a bit, but, you know, ho hopefully I get some good compensation for this. What? You say you have a Recovery 30 card? Oh, could you, could you give it to me, please? With this card, I just might have a chance. Please, I'll give you something in return. Give. Geo gave away the Recovery 30. Oh, thank you so much. In exchange, I'll give you this. Geo got an unlocker. Alright, that's not half bad. I mean, I think I probably bought too many unlockers, but whatever. Okay, now I'm gonna go and make my move. Good on you, buddy. Alright, time to head out of a making because we are done. That's, that's gonna bother the shit out of me. I can't believe I didn't notice that for this long. Like, I didn't notice it in editing. I didn't notice it anywhere. Like, how the fuck did I miss that? I do wonder if it's a palette issue, but I, that just doesn't make any sense. Oh shit, that's right. I need to go to uh, this wave hole up here. It probably either has a... <sighs> Something tells me it probably has a quote-unquote decent card, but since we're at this point in the game, I doubt it's gonna... It's not gonna be like, oh... Here's another break saver for you, because why not? Oh, by the way, I bought a Poison Knuckle just to help me take on some of the Ephenium bosses. Um, I don't know if I bought it in the last episode or ones before then, but I did buy it, so... Just to let you guys know. Anyway, telescope calm, let's see. Looking for the good shit, and right away, nice. Mega Man except for the Mystery Wave, it's 200 zenny. Really? Like, that, that is shit at any point in the game, game. That's some bullshit, there better be another thing in here. I got all excited. Like, don't get me wrong, the, the HP 10 was nice, but this is some bullshit. Hand over the good shit game. I mean, I guess, I guess I could at least say that money's useful at any point in the game, but that's, like, really fucking useless. The only thing I can think of is maybe the Hertz, like, wants to trade something? I believe that there's life somewhere out there in space, advanced... Advanced beings, for example, who know how to harness the sun's energy. Hey, I'm a visionary. Beep beep. 
And that's it. Okay. Well, that's kind of lame. I just 200 though? Like 500 would have been like, okay, maybe at this point in the game. But no, like I'm positive we were at least, you know, you can at least get fucking 100 from each fight. <sighs> anyway, we are going to go head over to Times Square. There is going to be a lot of shit to do here. I am going to be very worn out at the end of this. <laughs> but at the very least, uh, we've gotten almost everything done in most of the other areas. And it's not like there's a lot to do at Dream Island, so yeah, this will this is probably going to be the biggest part. Alright, I think I'm just going to walk around and start asking around- Oh, is that the same girl? I wonder if it's a coincidence that so many people started a fighting hall- Okay, no. This is just from the previous uh, thing that happened here. Yeah, people are technically still lined up, so there's a possibility maybe we can't do some of these jobs, but... Something tells me we can. So anyway, I'm just going to start knocking them out one by one. <laughs> now I'm imagining Geo just like, pew, pew, pew. Oh, you meant like the, like, helping them out. Oh, shit. Oh. Ugh. Ugh. I'm in some trouble. Man, <laughs> Copper was right. I am a monster. Welcome to Heidi Rune's transfer. Now I've done it. What am I going to do? I lost something my boyfriend gave me as a present. Boo-boo. Don't you mean boo-hoo? It has a lot of sentimental value to me. What'll I do if I don't find it, boo-hoo? Looks like she lost something very important. So do you want to help her? No. Yeah, but, but... What were you just saying about something important? Oh, never mind. Okay, let's do this and get it over with. You know, it, it's funny how many of Mega's yeses are like, just, I'm fucking bored of this, fuck this shit. Compared to his nose, which are just like, yeah, fuck her. <laughs> Hope her boyfriend breaks up with her, the slut. Um, you haven't seen a ring around, have you? That ring is very important to me. It's a present for my boyfriend. Um, I think it's more than just a present. It sounds like a lot more of a commitment. Ah, uh, I usually don't take it off because of how special it is. Oh wait, but I did take it off once because I didn't have much of a choice. I think it was when I went bowling. There's something shiny on the ground here. Wow, you couldn't walk a few fucking feet. Ah, that's my ring. Oh, thank goodness. And thank you for finding it. Geo gave the ring to the lady. I don't know how I would have faced him had he found out I had lost this. Thank you so much. Here's something for your time and trouble. A search eye, yay. Ah, this is such a pretty ring. I guess the search eye makes sense since we did have to look and find it. All right, time to go do some more transfer stuff. At least that one was like super fucking easy. Because <laughs> remember correctly, there's 12 here. I don't, I know there's one of them we probably can't do. There's probably more as well. Uh, since we are doing this, I guess I can start working down the list of other things to talk about. We haven't really gotten much of anything after Mega Man Star Force 3, if you are a fan of the Star Force series. The closest thing that we have gotten our hands on for a game is... Uh, I've talked about it, there's a bad spin-off game that's like... It sounds like it could have been an interesting idea, but they kind of fucked it up. But other than that, the only thing we've actually gotten with Mega Man Star Force in it is Super Smash Brothers. I forgot if it's in uh, Smash Ultimate, but I do know the Smash 4 for the Wii U and uh, 3DS. Um, Mega Man's spe- or not Mega Man, yeah. Classic Mega Man's uh, special attack is having all of the Mega Mans come together with their supercharged shot and hit the enemy. So it's a pretty cool thing, and I, I found it really surprising that Mega Man Star Force and Mega, Mega Man Battle Network uh, Mega Man showed up within that collection. So honestly, I thought that was really fucking cool. Everybody loved it when they found out that was the special, so I wanted to bring that up because that's technically the only console appearance that we've probably ever seen of Star Force Mega Man. Um, Mega Man, EXE Mega Man, did get a GameCube game, so he has had appearances in console games. Hello and welcome. Well, this is just great. I can't get a signal on my cell phone. Uh, cell phone, dude? We're in the year 2200. Use your fucking transfer. How am I supposed to get in touch with my clients? They will be expecting my call. It's over. I'm gonna lose my job. Somebody help. Should we help that guy out? No. So you're just gonna let that... <laughs> Let that guy get canned? Oh well. Mega, you said that a thousand times now. Come up with something more interesting. Okay, let's make it quick. I'd better write myself a memo in the mail. <laughs> Alrighty then, let's see how we can help out, mister. <laughs> I like it, he's like, man, these two are fighting, but fuck, I can't get a cell phone reception. <laughs> hmm, that's odd. I wonder what's wrong. My transfer's phone seems to be okay. I was trying to call my customer just now, but I couldn't get through, maybe... There's something wrong with the reception. Hmm, not good at all. Guess we gotta go look for that now. I wonder, can we? I know what the solution is because I'd make sure I know I can do it before I start it. I wonder if we can see him up here. All right, maybe not, okay. 
because they are the the solution is here like I could see the wave balls beforehand so I was curious whether or not I could see these things now or maybe it's not loaded in the game yet maybe after you do this it loads it though something tells me it's at the bottom right of the screen down here in one of the empty spots ha I was right Gua. what are you doing what the? You. We are enjoying this EM wave storm. We won't allow you to interfere. Here they come. Get ready. Oh, shit. Got some big boys here. Uh, hmm. What should I do? I can take advantage of that sink. Cool. Nice. Damn it. I did get hit, but I did do some good damage. Oh, yeah, my counter's gonna be nice. Oh, fuck off, game. Why did it disappear? That was so dumb. Uh, hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll just do that. <laughs> No reason to do anything fancy, just use the use the ground wave, get it over with. Anyway, enemy deleted. What's that? That's right, you can get gauntlets in this game. For some reason we didn't fight a gauntlet when we did the uh the other kinds of fights with the jammers with Gemini, but whatever. Uh let's see. I think this'll be no. Do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then that, then that. No. Okay. Trying to figure out what the optimal uh, strategy is. I think, because the jammer's actually pretty easy. He just moves around everywhere. It's it's best to use the... Uh, get rid of the guys in the back first. Aw, oh, come on. Actually, let's see what Sonya got. Anything good? Nope. I will say I was using Sonya's SP attack against the FME and bosses because uh man it it's nice because uh her her thing paralyzes enemies so it makes it so convenient and easy to defeat most of them that guy's going to suck he's probably going to hit me and oh nope never mind this is actually gonna, actually no this won't be super easy because uh destroyed missile isn't going to I don't think it it might kill the bumble bee which is actually kind of what I want okay good cuz remember if it blinds you that means you get stuck with um Oh, damn it. We're actually gonna take some hits here. But anyway, if it blinds you, you can still move around. You just don't know where the enemies are attacking. And for this fight, it actually would be pretty dangerous. Sorry, I was just being really lazy there. I could have dodged, but I was like, I'm just gonna keep firing my buster until he goes away. It's only three fights, so not too bad. Okay. This should improve the reception. That guy's phone will probably work now. Kind of crazy, though. Because you don't actually see the jammers often, especially with them doing nefarious shit. So, here's something interesting. My phone call just now suddenly went through. What? You fixed it? Well, you may be a kid, but you know your stuff. Here you go, a little reward for your time. Geo got 3,500 zenny, and now for this guy, 3,500 zenny's enough. <laughs> now to make that call about my work. You're welcome. 